If you live in a period home, your original walls may look a bit like this. It's an old fashioned building technique called lath and plaster. Strips of wood are attached to wooden studs and lime plaster is just smushed on top. Not smooth at all, as you can imagine. So here's how to remove it yourself if you're renovating and maybe you're planning to put plasterboard on your internal walls instead. Safety first, a hard hat is always good, goggles for any flying bits of plaster, a mask because it gets dusty, gloves to protect your hands, and the only tool you need is a crowbar with one flat and one curved end. You'll also want to protect any flooring such as nearby carpet because the dust can be hard to get out of fabrics. So to remove the plaster, you can just slide the flat side of the crowbar behind it and wrench forward in chunks like this. If it's proving tough, I like to use the other end to bash it up a bit first, then just hack it off in smaller bits. With the larve itself, it's just a case of pulling it with the crowbar until it snaps off. You can actually do a few at a time, just pull downwards across a few rows of them. Then you need to remove the nails one by one, so nothing stops your new plasterboard from attaching to the studs. As you can see, it's a very messy process and it can take a while. You can remove the lath and plaster together, but I prefer to do it one by one so I can dispose of the plaster and the wood separately. There is a lot of cleanup involved, so have rubble bags ready to go and somewhere to get rid of the mess. We hired a hippo skip, which was super helpful. And that is it. Good luck.